We're in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho for the third installment of Idaho Listens. We started in Boise back in the fall of 2022, headed to Idaho Falls last spring, and here we are in Coeur d'Alene for this fall's Idaho Listens. Idaho Listens was a project that was brought to us a couple of years ago from Greg Carr and conversations with Dr. Marlene Trump, the president of Boise State University, to think about how we can begin talking and listening to one another in an environment that's full of dignity and civility. We know that we're in polarized times across the United States and across Idaho. And so this project, Idaho Listens, was born to mitigate that impact of the polarization on our communities. And so what we do is we get nine speakers from a cross-section of backgrounds and occupations, experiences, who have different perspectives about the central issues of our time. And we ask them to speak for five to seven minutes on what they value and why. And the part that's most intriguing and interesting is that the audience remains silent. There's no cheering, there's no jeering, there's no clapping. We really want to have uninterrupted speaking and uninterrupted listening. And that's really what makes Idaho Listens. One of the most important aspects of music and being a musician is listening. And, um, and the fact that we don't take time to listen and to really take things in and take somebody's message in, hear their perspective, hear their story, I think this is so valuable because we're gonna get nine different people giving nine different stories from different places that you may not necessarily agree with, but you're here to listen. We're so quick to respond to something rather than to listen and reflect and listen to the intention in which it's being given. I think that generally the community does want to listen and participate and hear each other and have an understanding and friendly discourse. I think headlines and news cycles and just the way that social media platforms function looking for enraged engagement, which drives up engagement, website hits, we're kind of primed for those kinds of interactions. So when you invite people into a neutral space to just see each other and hear each other, most people want to do just that. And so I think it's really important for us to create more opportunities for those kinds of things to happen. Value is the ability of a community to get together and collaborate, to make connections, to talk to each other for a common good without concerns for politics and religion and other div divisive situations and conditions that we've found coming into our communities pretty heavily right now. And I think it's learning a little bit better about how to make a reversal in that trend so we can all be uh, thoughtful about how we get to get along and what possibly even accept others for what they are without judging. We're all people and we all live here and we all should be able to communicate, talk and get along, cooperate, collaborate. That's what I'm all about. Part of my life I've had an ag tourism business, so I've been able to visit with people from all over the United States who come to our ranch. And in the end, we would be having conversations about ranching practices or forest practices. And they probably came with different ideas. And it's always been fun to be able to share what we do and hopefully balance with what they think. And so this is no different. I, mean, I think this is great. One of the most important things and good things about this project is we're all just normal people. None of us are professional speakers. And so we're all gonna do that a little bit here tonight. And I think that's part of sharing the stories and seeing each other is just bearing witness to real natural humanity in all of its forms. We have overcome difficulties before. And I think hopefully we're into a place where the pendulum's gonna swing back again and we'll be able to communicate better.